Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm obviously not going to do my crazy intro because this isn't a crazy fun video and I honestly am really nervous about making this video because I already know that no matter what I say, there's going to be comments, good, bad, really bad. It's like I know there's going to be both in the comments no matter what I say and that's why I'm like I'm so nervous to make this video because I already know like people are going to find something twisted or like I don't know I'm just really nervous but this video has to be made one because I owe it to everyone watching and I also owe it to myself to apologize for my mistake. I know this is totally off topic but I just got a spray tan so if I look completely orange that's why I didn't have time to shower it off yet I have to wait nine hours. I just got it like three hours ago so I might look orange, sorry. So before I get this video started, I want everyone to know that I in no way, shape or form even want to be involved in this. But at the same time, I kind of got myself involved and I guess that's my, like that's my problem and that's my issue and I fully take responsibility for it. And to be honest, in this video, I'm gonna take a fat L. I <laughs> can't even really back myself up for this, but I do wanna share my side of things and maybe put it in perspective and everything. I have tried reaching out to Stephanie, so before you guys say, you should not be apologizing to us you should be apologizing to stephanie i have reached out to her i asked her if she wanted to call on the phone and i said that because i feel like it's more genuine i'll show you all the receipt right here so i messaged her and i said hey stephanie can we hop on a phone call i'd like to talk in person as i feel like it's more genuine if you don't feel comfortable let me know that's understandable and i'll send over a message so obviously i don't know if she's comfortable with being on the phone or not but i feel like an apology over the phone and talking things out over the phone is a lot more like genuine and like down to earth than just like messaging her and be like hey girl like sorry but i do owe her an apology and and I owe everyone here an apology, especially the people that think of me differently. Basically, if you guys don't know what happened, just go watch Stephanie's video and Nick's video and you'll see it all. But basically, whenever I went to LA, okay, I think it was like three weeks ago now, I went to LA to collab with Nick. Nick is my best friend, one of them. I don't get to see him very often because obviously we live on completely different sides of the world and different countries. So I don't get to see him very often. So when we do see each other, we take advantage of that and we film and we like to drink and have have fun and I did that and I left and there was no drama there was nothing that was happening in his life that was too crazy he told me he was gonna collab with Stephanie and that was about it I also met Zach while I was there and he was really awesome and I don't know I never met Stephanie and I there was no drama as far as I knew when I was there everything was cool he didn't even meet up with Stephanie yet until I left so I left and he met up with Stephanie and I guess things like happened I don't really know I only know Nick's side and I want to make that very clear I'm Nick's best Best friend and we talk every single day there might be a couple days where we don't go talking but he'll message me randomly and be like oh my gosh this is what happened today and I respond or I'll message him and be like oh my gosh this girl said this about me like and he responds and or if I need advice or like just someone to talk to we talk to each other a lot and that's what best friends do Nick randomly messaged me one day and he was like he didn't know if he was gonna end up getting his collabs in he said that he did Stephanie's and Zach's that day and he was worried that they were gonna cancel on him and not give him a video back and as a best friend I was like well, I hope that doesn't happen. Like that would suck if like you did work for their channel and you, they didn't do any work for yours. That's the only thing I got out of it. The only thing I knew is that Stephanie was supposed to do a video with him and he was worried that he was not going to get that video. So I responded and I was like, I forget what I said then, but I said, oh my gosh, like I hope that doesn't happen. Like that would suck. Like, are you sure? Like, oh my God. So the next day comes, I guess, I don't really know. Like I don't know the timeline very well, I guess somehow this is what I got out of it. Nick was supposed to do a video with Zach that morning, but Zach and Stephanie went out to eat, I think. Fuck. <laughs> the reason why I'm so confused is because I barely know the situation myself. I know like literally just as much as YouTube knows. I only knew Nick's side, that's it, point blank, period. Stephanie never made a video. Stephanie never messaged me. Nick didn't really tell me all the details. He never sent me screenshots or videos or whatever. He literally just was venting to me. Basically what happened was- Hey, so you know how I did my collab with Zach yesterday? Well, today was supposed to be our collab for my video for my channel well stephanie sue just like invited herself into it and so she like facetimed me with them both together in the car on their way to pick up food for a collab when they were supposed to come over to he was supposed to come over to collab with me and he's totally like blowing me off for her and he's like well you can, we can stick you on with us and i'm just like oh, i hate when people do this shit i didn't want a three-way i wanted one with literally i was supposed to film one-on-one -on -one, and then she's like i'm coming too and he's like yeah can she be in it i'm like oh. I said yes because I figured this is my only way to collab with him because I knew he would try to like s escape his way out of it. And now he's gonna be like, well, if Stephanie's there, it's better. Because if I say no, they would feel insulted because they're both together right now. On, and I just FaceTimed them. I'm in the middle of a Jollibee right now. And if I said no, they'd be like, well, fuck you. And then I wouldn't get my, my collab out of it. So how'd I say yes? 
And now she's gonna be on my video with Zach when it, was spo it wasn't supposed to be. Totally ranting right now, but I'm waiting for my Uber, so. I thought it was rude. And I'm gonna be honest with you, now that I know all the details and I know how she felt and I know everything, I take it back and I do apologize for judging based on something I didn't know. But also, people in the comments hating on me are doing the exact same thing. <laughs> the fuck was that? Anyways, so the people <laughs> My fucking life right now. This is the sign that like I'm should I be doing this video? I forget where I was now because of the rude interruption. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? This is a sign I should shut my mouth because I'm just gonna get more hate. Like fuck. Okay. So I don't I forget where I was, but basically all I knew at this point was that Nick was supposed to collab with Zach. Zach invited Stephanie in front of him, uncomfortable, and had no choice but to say yes. So in my head, I'm thinking, wow, it's pretty rude to invite yourself to a collab, especially when you're doing it in front of the person, you know? Like, it's kind of one of those situations where, <laughs> holy shit! So it's kind of like one of those things where if you and a friend had plans to hang out that day, for example, I'm just gonna use my friend Caitlin, she's right there. So basically, if me and her had plans to hang out that day, and it was supposed to be like a girl's thing, I had something to talk about, or it was just supposed to be me and her, and she FaceTimed me with another person and said, hey Carly, can this person come to over tonight? That puts me in an uncomfortable situation because that person is right there. Do you get what I'm saying? And I know you guys did this as kids. Like you'd go to your mom with your friend and be like, can they sleep over? You know, it's to like make them feel like they have to say yes. And that's kind of what I got out of it. Obviously I did not know they agreed before because Nick never told me. So I guess that that was my bad for commenting on a situation I didn't know about. I definitely shouldn't have said like the whole, I don't know who raised her thing because that was really out of line and really out of character for me. And I don't know why the fuck I said that. And I'm very sorry. I guess I was just trying to be as mad as Nick was. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. And it's like really disrespectful and kind of disgusting of me to say that. And I'll take the L on that. I definitely am not bullying her in any way. I have never called her like names. I've never been like you're a bitch or like whatever. I have not sent any of my fans to hate on her. I was just someone that was kind of in the background hearing one side. So when people are saying like, oh my gosh, you're talking crap about her and you were exposed. I gave him permission and if I felt like I was, if I felt like I was bullying her or if I felt like I had to hide it, I obviously would have told him no and I would have felt weird about it. But I just didn't see it that way until everyone else told me and to be honest most of the time you guys are a little crazy and overanalyze stuff but this time you guys were correct and I did. I was immature and irresponsible and I shouldn't have said that. Basically just responded with oh my gosh that makes you so uncomfortable to FaceTime you in front of Zach and ask you because obviously you're gonna have to say yes because the person is there. I feel bad for you. That's manipulative because as kids, like I said, you would bring your friend in front and ask your mom because you're kind of manipulating your way for her saying yes. And that's how I saw it. I did not know that they all agreed. I did not know anything. Like, I didn't know anything but what Nick told me, which was she invited herself into my collab and it made me feel uncomfortable. And that's all I knew and that was the basis of it. Literally all I knew. I did not know the whole in and out of sleep thing. Didn't know what that was. Did not know that she, like it even had to do with her sex assault or whatever the case was and I feel so bad for her and I this whole situation is just a lot and I do not want to be involved in it and I guess I did put myself in it by giving him permission to use my voice messages I didn't think of it that way and I apologize and I'm so sorry and I do not condone bullying and I don't go around bullying girls I don't do that if you guys know me I'm all about girl power and girl supporting girls I have like merch that says things about supporting girls I I've donated to girls in domestic violence. I've done a lot of stuff where you guys know that I am all about being confident and empowering other women. And I am sorry for saying what I said. And I will take full responsibility for the fact that that was not okay. <sighs> that being said, I want to see if there's anything else I wanted to cover. Um, there's not really much more I want to cover. Um, said, I only know one side. Now I know both. Obviously, I've never spoke to Stephanie. And I am sorry to everyone who watched. This drama is just a lot. And I think before we end this, I think you guys need to 
think about yourselves and personally I feel like okay put yourself in my situation if you ever had a friend call you or text you about like oh my gosh this girl said this and you probably responded and said oh my god fuck that bitch blah blah, blah she's fucking rude oh my god like she doesn't know anything like you're a boss ass bitch right like if your friend texts you and complains about another person and you only hear their side you think the other person's awful right but who knows maybe if you called the other person they would have been like well your friend said this first you know like you don't know and everyone watching this has probably done that where your friend has complained about somebody that you don't know and you have had their back without knowing and that's kind of what I did and I guess I should have been more responsible and not anyways I want everyone to be mindful of all of the people involved um, whether whoever you think is right or wrong or whatever just know that everyone is getting attacked whether they were right or wrong and there's two sides to every story and I apologize and honestly I don't have a side because I wasn't involved and I am just a friend and a bystander and a support person and if it was the opposite if Stephanie was messaging me I would probably react the same way if she ever needed something I would react that way that being said once again I apologize I love you guys and I just am very overwhelmed with it and I could not imagine what Stephanie and Nick are going through if I only have a little part of it so let's be mindful and not bully anyone involved in this situation I'm sorry next time I will not say anything so yeah once again I'm sorry and I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and stay confident bye beautifuls